This is him. There he is! Oh my god! There he is, little guy! <laughs> you wanna stick your little handies in there? Am I allowed to? Yes, just be careful. Big, put it down, no, there's a chair. Where do I? Okay, here. Quick and efficient here. Yesterday he peed all over me while he was without the diaper. I remember the first time he had like a dirty diaper, like a blowout dirty diaper, and you, you were like, "What do I do? What do no, I do?" I and he was do sideways, and we put him in the sink. Oh my gosh! I just threw him in the sink. Ow. But I will say this about you as a parent: it has softened you up a lot. Is it your first time at the beach? She's. Very caring and uh, nurturing, so she's a great mom, but I'm not surprised at that. Hi. <laughs> but it's not easy. Parenting is a full-time job. And now there's a second baby coming. Yeah. And I'm worried about it because there are times where I, I break down and I feel like I can't even handle one. <laughs> Ay, you bite me right now? Oh, did you bite? Welcome to no the club. Biting. How am I going to be able to handle two? <laughs> you have so many concerns that it's starting to concern me. <laughs> Are you excited about Israel? So excited. <laughs> Can I guilt you while you're there? No, that's the like worst. I, should, I feel like I should get at least one. No, no guilting on the trip. Do not send me a bar selfie. Don't worry. When Alex is in Israel, he absolutely relives his youth. I don't know if irresponsible is the word. I think he's just more carefree. I'm glad he gets to see his family and friends. I think it's very important. But I'm envious of the fact that he's able to do that, and I can't. I can't just pick up and go. He gets a week off of parenting. I'm never going to get that. Ever. Let me enjoy my trip without too much guilt. <sighs> Take me away. Don't be afraid. You gotta put those away from me. Got to you, ma. He knows, I'm telling you, he knows that's it. He doesn't want to let go of me for half a mm -hmm. second. Oh, what's up with you already? Hormones. God. Ugh. I hate being so emotional. I want him to go see his family, see his friends, go to the wedding, but like the reality is setting in. Super moms can handle everything. I'm only going for one week. <laughs> one week and I'm back. Okay? Can you survive? Can you survive one week? Can you make me feel like I can go? I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Okay, tell me that one time. I'll Can be you... fine. <laughs> Good. Uh, I'll be fine. I haven't been to Israel in two years. I did become a little bit disconnected. And she's trying to give me some heat, you know, to make me feel bad. Which is okay. I'll take it. Because, you know, going back home gives me a little bit life and gives me a little bit you know, happiness, and it helps me recharge and reconnect with my family, so I can come back, you know, a better person. Off to the airport. I know it's difficult, but you can do it. Don't cry. And blow your snowball. Yeah. I think you're gonna miss him more than me. <laughs> Can you miss us equally? Um, I'll try, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Ella, I see it. Yeah. Oh, sunglasses. These f hormones. Mommy is very hormonal. Shy, where are you going? Hello? Uh-uh. I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. Move your hand. Thank you. Even though Alex is away, this is still my regular day. I cook.
cook, I clean, I do laundry, I take care of Shai, all while being pregnant. Since Shai was born, I have been working from home. Oh, shit. Actually, let me send that email. I've been with my company a few years, and I'm an admin. He's too quiet. Where'd he go? There he is. I think I've been a really good multitasker my whole life, honestly. But now, working from home while being pregnant and managing shy has taught me that I'm a lot stronger than I thought I was. But it's so hard. You have to figure it out, and you just got to do it. Hi, Shai. Shai, do you miss Abba? You want to go to Israel and visit? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> so it's me and Shy, and my hormones are just like raging right now. It's my first night home without Alex, and I think that's what is messing with my head, knowing that it's only night one and I have eight more to go. And I don't like being alone. And I know I have shy. But the nighttime feels really weird. Like, we've spent every single day together the last six years, nearly. And he's not here. And it just feels very, very weird. I know Alex had to go to Israel and see his family. It's been years. And if he didn't go now, it's not going to be for a very long time. But I feel empty. Like, the house feels empty without him. This is gonna be the longest week of my life. I'm hoping that I can get through it easily. And I'm hoping at the end of the week, I'll feel like, wow, it really wasn't so bad. I'm gonna lean it back a little bit. Alex has been gone for almost a week and last night was his cousin's wedding. I called a few times and he never picked up. Oh, hi. It's so nice of you to pencil us into your busy schedule. I saw your calls. I mean, what are you calling me 20 times? You know, I'm at the wedding. It wasn't 20 times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know how it is when I come here. I'm, mm. I'm running around nonstop. Mm. I'm very tired, too. Right. Not it's really, I'm really fun. hard seeing friends and drinking. I'm saying I didn't have fun. Yes, I've been drinking and partying a lot. Yeah, it must be nice. Freedom. Um, I'm really ready for you to come back. And next time you need to go somewhere by yourself, it's not gonna be for eight days. <laughs> okay. Good. I'm going to get Alex from the airport. He's coming back and I'm so excited. Show you who is that? <gasps> is that Abba? Hello, oh my goodness. Is it Daddy? <laughs> He's like, wait, what's happening? Hi. Do you remember me? Oh. Hi. Hi, dude. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Stop. Don't make me cry. Put on Stop. mascara. <laughs> Look how happy he is, and you guys are matching. Oh. Who is that? Oh, my goodness. Don't leave us that long again. I sure missed my family more than I expected. What did you miss? Miss you, miss <laughs> being home. And uh, yeah, there was nobody to take care of me. Ready for your baby moon? Yeah. yeah. My vacation baby moon. It's still baby moon. Let's just still call it baby, baby moon. moon. Yeah. We're baby morning. So we are heading out for our baby moon. We decided to go to a hotel not too far from our house or the hospital. And we're going to stay there for one night. But it's still going to be nice because <laughs> we're going to be by ourselves with no kids. We're just going to probably lay down and then rest. Sleep. <laughs> just sleep. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Baby moon. Baby moon. 
The Baby Moon Hotel is perfect. Alex and I, we just need time together. It's like our last hurrah before we can't spend time together <laughs> for a long time. This is really great. You see, staycation is nice. Staycation's not bad. This time around, we stopped having sex regularly around six months. It was not six months. Yes, it was the end of May, beginning of June. Well, then it was not regularly already before. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I brought a bikini too. I know. To I know which one you belly. brought. I know which one you brought. The I told you, you to like. bring it. Yes. See, I listen to you sometimes. Alex makes me feel very self conscious right now. I mean, he's got a body like it's a freak of nature. He doesn't work out and he looks that good, and I hate him for it. But I can't compare myself to him, but I keep comparing myself to the old Lauren, who was super fit and skinny and looked good and had a little peach tush. Now, forget it. Look how fancy, honey. That's our cabana? This is our cabana. Sweet. Sweet. Our pedicures by the pool. <laughs> oh, I'm hot, though. I got to take this Baba. off. Air oh. the belly out. Oof. Oi. What is that? <laughs> Thank you, honey. Thank you. Oi. Watching me get in is probably funny. Do I look like I'm feeling sexy right now? I feel like a beached whale. You're you beautiful. He does not think I'm as beautiful as ever right now. He is not one of those men that think pregnant women are beautiful. He's like, oh, wow, your dimples have dimples. <laughs> yeah, but it's fine. Yeah, but it's OK. But it is OK. I know your body goes through everything. Of course, it's going to change. I'm OK with that. Hey, babe, the food is here. I'm coming. Put right here. Shocker, I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, mm -hmm. that's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Did you catch those in yourself? I sure did. No, looks like it. This is a very emotional time for me. Life is gonna change even more than it already has because I feel like this is the last time it's really gonna be just us on a trip. Because I can't ask my parents, hey, mom, dad, can you watch two kids while we go away for a few days? It is August 16th. We are going in for a C-section in about 30 minutes. He is not willing to wait, so C-section in a few minutes. Kind of freaking out. I know it doesn't seem like it, but I've been crying for the last hour. I'm just like shaking a little bit and talking a lot because I'm freaking nervous because we're having another baby unexpectedly. But queen of the house, right? All my bro Barnick boys. I'm kind of freaking out now. Freaking out. It will be okay, baby. Be done. Okay. So because baby Bowton is going to be a preemie, we had to discuss the fact that he's going to be in the NICU, but I have a cold from Shy, so they're not going to let me in the NICU. Well, the doctors don't want to take any chances, so you cannot go into the NICU until you test negative. Yeah. You know, he may be in there for, like, two weeks, and... Hopefully, I don't have to wait two weeks to see him. Okay. You ready? No. Why not? I'm nervous. I know, baby. I'm sad that I'm not going to be able to see him. I'm nervous. You'll see him after a couple of days. Uh-huh. You would make a very, very hot surgeon. But then I feel like I'd lose you to girls with bigger boobs and better bodies, oh, so. Never. <laughs> That's damn right what you tell your wife who's having a contraction never. right now. All right, Abba, let's go do this again. Yalla. Got my hairnet on. We're going in. We're having a baby. Do I look like a surgeon? Oh my God, a surgeon, there's no tea. The surgeon general. Oh my God, here we go. Here we go. Having a baby, baby. Yeah, yeah there you go. Shai's gonna be a big brother. Oh my God, he's gonna be the best big brother. He's so excited. <laughs> Everybody looking around. <laughs> Everybody's here, though. Relax. I feel good. <laughs> the first time I was so nervous, I don't remember nothing. This time I'm okay. I'm, uh, I'm cool. This time I'm more relaxed. Lauren is very nervous. She's very emotional before the C-section, and I'm just trying to be there for her and calm her down. But it's stressful. I'm nervous, too. Alec and Lauren, the baby is coming. Oh, 
spot. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh. Done. Go ahead. There he is. Baby Bowden was born on August 16th at 9.08 p.m. and he was five pounds, seven ounces. Seven ounces and 19 inches long. When the baby was born, I finally hear the cry and it's like this sense of relief because you want to hear the baby cry. <laughs> and they barely show him to me, and then they just take him out of me, and he's away. I'm like, wait, what just happened? Is this him? There he is. Oh, my God. There he is, little guy. <laughs> you want to stick your little handies in there? Am I allowed to? Yes, just be careful. Oh like, put it down, no, there's a chair. Where do I? Okay, here. The first time I got to see the baby in the NICU, his eyes are covered, there's tubes, there's pipes everywhere. He was so fragile, like, like almost transparent. Like, it was, it was really hard. Speak, no. Hi. It's your mommy. <laughs> And I remember the nurse is telling me, just think of it as like a babysitter. You know, like trying to make us feel okay about it. The best babysitter that knows how to take oh, care it's of hard. our preemie baby. And then gives him the best care. We couldn't give him enough care at that moment. Yeah, that was hard. I was in the hospital for four days. And I'm getting released, but baby Bote needs to stay. The doctors, they're telling me that he's not ready to go home. He's not fully developed yet, and we can't stay in the hospital the entire time he's there. I'm just going to talk to the poll here. So how was your day? When we were getting released, Lauren was very drugged up. She didn't remember anything. She was acting crazy. I was high as a kite. And I just got to do what I got to do. Wait, wait, wait. What's your step? Uh, uh, ow! Wait. Uh, uh. Baby Putin was born really early and with real complications, and so the doctor said that it's up to the baby. They're not gonna give us no timeline, and we just gotta hang tight and and wait. What is that? Shy. Who is that? Who is that child? Hi, this is your brother. Oh! <laughs> be careful, Shai, be careful. Be nice. Be careful, Shai. Oh. <laughs> be careful. You give yeah. a kiss right here. Give a kiss. You can give a kiss. Give your brother a kiss. Oh! <laughs> okay. Good, Good job. job. My ovaries melted. Like, my heart just completely sobbed into a million. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Give him a kiss, Shai. No, Give him a kiss. kiss. Oh, <laughs> good job. Yeah. OK. Wow. OK. <laughs> so good. This whole time, I was waiting for Shai to meet him, to see what, what it's going to be like. And he was so tired, too. I was trying to keep Shai awake, because he was late. He was past his bedtime, so he was like <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. I'm crying thinking about it. It was so sweet. See, OK, you want more then, no? I, I didn't say that. Imagine both of them hugging a third one. <laughs> they suffocate that one. <laughs> Like that, that spot. Come. 
Oh. When we got home, it was past Shai's bad times. So he was cranky and he couldn't fall asleep. And now the baby's finally There's home. There's a baby, so. so everybody's screaming and we're just trying to go to sleep. <laughs> I don't think I'd have it any other way, as chaotic as it is, honestly. I have got all of my boys, baby Boatin on one side, Shy on the other. It's just the best feeling. Shaq. Oh, we got. Oh, hello. No, this he's looking for my boob. I know, I gotta feed him. You wanna switch? I don't think Shai's gonna let that happen right now. No? 